Hello, my name is Renaissance Boy, and today we will be talking about the Bat Space Shuttle set. There are three minifigures and three bat suits. We'll look at the minifigures first. First, there's Batman. He is just a regular Batman. The only difference from the other uh, minifigures from the movie is his expression. He has a, like, err expression and a scared expression. He has his black cape, of course, his, his belt and his torso, and no details on his pants. Then there's Dick Grayson, the future Robin. He has his uh, glasses and for his eyes and his hair. And he has his smile face. He also has a aw face. Then he also his torso is red with details, small details also on the back then his pants are jeans blue jeans have pockets on the sides nothing on the back then there's only one villain on in the set catwoman though she does not appear at, at this time in the movie she has her her headpiece or, and her mask uh, she has two faces, uh, a smiling face and an err, uh, angry face. Then she has uh, many details on her torso and the back of her torso. She actually has some detail on her arms as well, both of them, and some details on her legs. And then she also has this whip at, to use as a weapon, this whip. Okay, we're going to skip the bat suits for now. We're, we're going to look at the bat space shuttle itself. First, we'll look at this part, the, the main part. This is uh, the area where Batman can sit at the controls. It has some, uh, uh, a computer, some controls, a seat, and not much in this area. And th this part is made out of three pieces: the main piece, the win, the window piece, and this small top piece. Then there's also the wings that have. Stud shooters on both sides. Warning uh, on both of them. And then these flag pieces over here that you can move around. And I assume these are supposed to be other shooters. And then there's the middle of the plane. You can actually open that. And there's, there's a bat um, moon buggy where Batman can sit on it. There's a space for him to sit. And it has this, this thing, and four really small wheels, and red bottom, light in the front, and, and a bat a signal, a bat um, signal on the back. And that fits right in to this area that shows um, like some technic pieces down here and some other pieces can put this back in here then on the back or the near the back there's the these these bat wings and some uh, with the gas and stuff like that. And on the bottom, there's a, a, two of these things that stick out. They, they actually connect 
to this thing. Let me show you. So you have two things and they clip on to the uh, bat, bat space shuttle. Okay, now let's look at this area. It's the full fuel center. Uh, and the, the biggest pieces are up here. They get smaller going here. Here is the clicking connection. Then there are two of these things. They're exact replicas with stickers on both of them. And not, not much to say about this area. Though there's this thing on the back. Okay, now let's look at the bat space uh, control center. Here's the bat kayak, which sits um, here, uh, and you can move this around to rotate the bat kayak. Why don't I show you that? Bat kayak that has the kayak mold, the regular kayak mold, a seat for Batman to sit on, uh, or Robin. We can move these uh, bat wings. And there's the motor in the back. Uh, then there's the, the place where the bat space shuttle can actually go behind, though it doesn't connect. And we can put this right here. You, you, can, uh, you can put some minifigures to look here as well though they don't, but because there are no studs there they might slip off okay here are some of the lights uh, that they can actually turn around which is really cool and then here's uh, the back computer it has three screens one has a reggie suit on it uh, one has a uh, has a Batman tra and transformation on it, and one has a Catwoman warning uh, symbol on it. Then there, of course, are the three bat suits. Here's the fire starter bat suit. It has um, the Batman uh, mask mold, but in red. Nothing on the face, just a plain white face. A, a a yellow cape and uh, uh, here's the symbol nice details on the torso it, and there is no like specially molded belt it just comes printed onto the bat suit and not much on the pants either okay now let's look at the Reggae Mom. This is the suit that Robin wears. He ha it has the this uh, molded head. It's ve it's very special. I think it only comes in this set. It has a yellow cape. Little different, tiny difference from the other uh, cape from Firestarter bat suit. It has the R symbol uh, to represent Regan or Robin. And it has uh, more details than the Robin uh, suit. And, and unlike the other one, it has pants. Then the last suit is the space bat suit, which has the a uh, spaceman, oops, has the spaceman, um, like regular head piece, and just another blank white, uh, white, white head, a black cape, many different details on the torso, uh, and then it, unlike the other two previous bat suits, it comes with a 
a molded belt, and uh, details on the, the the legs and details on the back of the torso. And those are the la that's the last of the main features in the bat suits. Here are some of the weapons, like some arrows, a clingy thing, a two bat wings or er, bat batarangs, and a shooter. And that that's basically it for the set. Thanks for watching.